Hey. Hi. 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 How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> Same question. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How is quarantine treating you? Pretty well. How are you doing with all of this going on? I'm doing good. I feel like we had like a nice glimpse of hope last night at the Emmys, you know, with uh, Regina King and Zendaya and everything. So that was that was a nice thing on everything that's been happening, you know. Yes, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, it was a really beautiful night what they did last night. Mhm. Mm yeah, I was I was super excited. I was like watching everything on the on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I was, yeah. There was there was just there's a lot of good TV and things out right now. And all of the people, you know, that were nominated last night and that one were super amazing. I've watched countless amount of shows and uh, movies. So I was really, really excited for all the winners. Yeah. What have you been up to in quarantine? I have, you know what, I have been staying low key, just like everybody, honestly. Um, yeah. Other than that, recording music and just like um auditioning yeah so auditions and stuff are like are they working back up to getting back to production like i feel like everything is so up in the air right now you know yeah auditions are i mean every project seems to be like a little different with their mm -hmm. approach to how they're like going back to work but um it's starting to pick back up and and production teams are kind of um changing obviously the dynamic in the environment in which they work in so yeah it's a little different i have some friends that are working right now and they say they have to do a covid test like every two days oh wow yeah and um and you know obviously that the, the their teams and the the movie or show that they're on once in the like stay confined as much as possible so there's yeah. a lot of a lot of changes going mm -hmm. on with that life Right, for sure. But, you know, to talk a little bit about you, I know you were on Empire, which was one of the biggest shows like ever and Fox, on Fox and won so many awards. And now after six seasons, that's kind of done. What has that transition been like for you? Um, you know, it's hard to say because right when I was done, COVID hit. So <laughs> okay. it's a little, it's a little strange. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, one of the biggest, um, like accomplishments and milestones of my life, uh, finishing, you know, such a long series, as you said, so mm -hmm. series, it was when COVID hit, it was kind of like, wait, what? Like, cause I was ready to get into so many things. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it's just kind of been like a reset and I've, I've honestly just take, taken this time to just go ahead and just reset myself and mm -hmm. kind of catch up on me and things like that. And, um, and then auditioning started picking up a couple months ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. And I know, um, music is also something that you're really passionate about. You played um, a singer on the show, and I know that you have like two singles that you've released this year. Is that right, yes. Mr. Lover? That I really like that one. Thank I you. Like <laughs> I love that one a lot. And then you have a single coming up with Rick Ross, right? I do. Whoa, yes, girl. Yeah, I do <laughs> have a single coming out with Rick Ross. Um, it's called "Tell Me About Myself." Um, that song is, is one of my favorites. It's everyone who I let hear it loves it. Honestly. Okay. Um, and the other song that I released is um, I Miss You with Black Youngster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Nice. So are you expecting to release like a full project this year? Or you don't know yet? Or are you still trying to figure everything out? I definitely want to release a project. It might be next year. Mm -hmm. Um you know, just with how everything works out with releasing music and things like yeah. that. But um, I'm super excited. It'll mm -hmm. be my first time releasing a full body of work. So yeah. I'm, I don't want to rush it. And, and I'm, I'm taking this opportunity to really perfect it. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are so excited for that because they did get to see like your talent on Empire, but to kind of see that 180 and how you're putting your own spin on things is really cool. Like listening to your music, like I feel like I get the the R&B, like late night driving, 
driving down the city vibes like yes. <laughs> like okay i'm like is that what she, is that what you're going for? like what kind of uh music can we expect on the album because i feel like those are the vibes i got like cruising down cruising down the city late night like little janet right you know, yes. like, <laughs> those, those are definitely oh my gosh yes exactly okay. it's it's definitely you know more of um what i really go through a lot of the stories that i'm telling and and things that i'm singing about or mm -hmm. things i've been through or thought about yeah um and um yeah my, a lot of my inspirations do tend to be like janet and the 90s mm -hmm. uh, with the sound like sonically and also i'm taking an approach to doing like some more prince vibe pop yeah okay vibe. i could definitely see that yeah thank you so yeah. that's that's another sound that i'm going mm -hmm. for um so yeah it's definitely cruising you know mm -hmm. <laughs> and a couple songs that that'll make you dance for sure okay perfect perfect so i know we have like rick ross and you said you've co collaborated with uh black youngster is there anybody else that you want to collaborate with or any other eyes we can maybe expect on on the project when i saw you dance honestly i was like oh you and chris brown like <laughs> I need to see some type of like battle. <laughs> I know. Oh, look, no. <laughs> battle. He's, he's such an inspiration, too. He's like, oh, to work with, too. Just to see him mm -hmm. in his element is, is yeah. really like icing on the cake for me. Mm -hmm. But um, for sure, I would love to do a record with Chris. Um, and, and there's some other like people that we kind of want to be on the project. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and those people are kind of people like Chris. Um, I really want to see if there's a song that uh, JB can get on, Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. um, that would be dope. Just, right? That would be really um, dope. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and um, there's some more artists. We've talked about country artists. I just, mm -hmm. I really want my project to be not only R&B, but very, um, you know, like pop R and B, and just to feel the vibe. I don't want to be in a box. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely, absolutely. Was this something that you that you always like grew up doing, acting and um, singing and dancing, or did you kind of have to learn to do that? I feel like everybody who is super amazing at that is like born with it, but you know. <laughs> Thank. You. Yeah, I mean. For me, I have been, well, okay, so it kind of happened, like, dance was first, because my mom mm -hmm. said she just always dance around the house in her heels, so she put me in dance um, at, like, four or five, ballet, okay. and then, um, and then I started writing songs at, like, nine, mm -hmm. and then acting came around that time to, like, nine, yeah. So it was kind of like something I've just always wanted to do. My mom said I looked at the TV and said I wanted to be on it. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you were writing songs at nine, do you remember like what you were writing about? I was definitely writing gospel music. Okay, I grew up in church. Okay, um, Christian background, and um, I was writing gospel songs at mm -hmm. nine years old. Yes. Wow the talent like <laughs> i can't so um would you say that empire was like your first really big job or had you have done some smaller things leading up to leading up to empire empire is definitely my first big job um mm -hmm. in high school i did a lot of um print work mm -hmm. um, and then some after high school so some commercials and things like that but mm -hmm. empire was my first big theatrical uh, job that I've I, I have ever done. Yes. Yeah. How did that come? How did that come about? Did well, you... with Empire, um, one of my good friends, he kind of recommended that I audition for the part for Tiana. Mm -hmm. um, this is like probably a year after I graduated from high school. Yeah. So I was 19 or 18. Um, I think I was already 19 when I auditioned. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he, you know, he, sent me the info information to the casting director and then I went ahead on and 
rehearse my lines and re like I think I auditioned like three days later after he told me about it mm -hmm. um so it was a pretty quick process it felt really long because I was just like waiting on like all of these results like yeah what do they think what do they think but mm -hmm. um <laughs> it was like a week long and then like the next week I flew to Chicago wow I know that's such Super a whirlwind. And and like, yeah, uh, like such a whirlwind experience. What it? What is the thing you miss most about the show? Oh man, I miss <laughs> I miss playing dress up with Tiana. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> she always had like amazing clothes. I feel like next to Cookie, uh, Tiana got to play. I could agree lot. with that for sure. I yeah, love wardrobe. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I miss is just the camaraderie and like being around, you know, other artists and things like that. I feel like right now I just miss human interaction. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> and when it comes to like art, it's it's really nice to be in the room with other artists and just see how they move and how they break down their script and things like that. I remember early on, I would just stay after um, after I rapped. I would mm -hmm. stay after um, at work and just watch Terrence and Taraji work. And it's just so yeah. inspiring because mm -hmm. they figure it out too. So it was really, really nice to do that. So I think that those are some of the things I really miss about being on Empire. Yeah. And I know a bunch of people miss the show too. Like, has anybody said anything about like an Empire movie or some type of spinoff? Like, has there been anything, any talk about that? <laughs> Yes, so I heard. No. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, they do. They did release uh, that Cookie was going to be Taraji was going to be doing a spinoff. On okay. Um, I'm not sure about any more details other than you know basically the article I read. Yeah. But um, I know that they are doing a Cookie spinoff. Okay, that would be cool. That would be great. Yeah. Hopefully, when quarantine ends, you know, we can I see know. what's going on with that. <laughs> um, okay, so when I talked, I talked, I think I talked to Jacob, your boo, like, maybe a few months ago, and he was okay. telling me about, like, when he first met you, he had to come correct. He was like, oh I'm God. not talking to Soraya, because I'm not going to waste her time if, you know, I'm <laughs> he was very, like, it was super cute, super funny. What was your first impression of him? Um, I, I thought he was a nice guy. Honestly, where, okay, our head spaces were, like, totally different mm -hmm. when we met, I think, because when we met, um, we were at the BET Awards, and that was my first year going to the BET Awards. Now, Jacob okay. has been to the BET Awards before, right. so I was kind of just, like, freaking out. It's my first year going. I'm performing with Empire. It's a lot mm -hmm. at once. Yeah. Um, I'm figuring out this whole landscape. Where's my seat? Excuse mm -hmm. me. So I literally was, like, looking for my seat, and I was like, oh, excuse me. Oh, hey, like, because we have mutual friends. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hey, you know, how are you? And he's like, oh, hey, nice to finally meet you face to face. And I was like, okay, I'm trying to look for my seat. It was like, I was just <laughs> all over the place. He was a yeah. really nice guy to answer your question, but that's mm -hmm. all I got. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I know you guys have collaborated together. Do you plan on maybe doing some more things together? Like, um, like I don't really know if he, d I guess he dance. he dances, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you guys, w could we see, like, some potential collaborations in the future between the two of you? Probably. I can't, okay. I mean, I can't say yes or no. There's nothing really in line right now. Yeah. But um, I can say probably. I feel like we are very tight-knit when it comes to, like, creative things, and mm -hmm. we kind of bounce ideas off of each other. And, um, yeah, I mean, the dance thing is, is like, inevitable. So I'm surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't danced. Yeah kind of weird that I'm like I just thought about that like wait we have a dancing right I feel like pe no. that's like what people would want to see the most besides like what do they do together all the time right. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff something dope uh, something, yeah it would have to be super super dope but if we have yeah. a song or an opportunity for sure mm -hmm. and I feel like with quarantine it's it's really like especially people in general, it's been a kind of make it or break it type thing. And you guys have always displayed like such a positivity of like black love and a healthy relationship. What do you think are some of the keys to that? Um, hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I, I just say 
so cliche. I just say communication and 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 I say communication and just being open minded. I think a big thing for any couple or people that are trying to, you know, um <laughs> be together. Yeah. Um it's it's just really about having an open mind to someone else's point of view, you know, um cuz we all grow up and, and kind of accumulate our own sense of self and yeah. what the world is supposed to be and what we mm-hmm. want our world to be and um and and we might like a lot of things about a person but we might we may not agree on everything and i think it's just finding that sweet spot of like agreeing to disagree on some things obviously right. they're deal breakers but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know i think that's just the best way because like we're very like long like right now I haven't seen them in probably two months so it's like things like that being long long distance in the industry that we're in it's just really important to just be like have communication open communication and in in open mindedness so mm-hmm. being able to talk about anything yeah I didn't even realize that you <laughs> may not you know I think is he in Chicago right now no, he's actually, I don't know if I can say it, but he's oh. filming a movie um, right now. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. That's <laughs> yeah. so dope. And where, and I didn't even ask you, like, where you are in the world right now. I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm in Atlanta too. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> the weather's been good today, right? <laughs> yeah, it's actually cooled down. I was just talking to my mom, like, it did a dramatic switch. Yes. We are definitely headed towards fall. 100%. I'm like so it. ready. Yes. It was a hot summer. Like, it was so hot and sticky. And it was unbearable. Ooh. And if you don't have a pool and you're not God's favorite, like you were just out here hot. No, for real. Just yeah. hot. Just <laughs> take another shower. That's mm-hmm. like- and then quarantine just being like stuck in the house too. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for some colder weather. But, I know. Me too. Yeah. But that's awesome. I had no idea that you were here. That's so cool. (laughs) Um, So what what are some movies or like TV shows that you've been watching while you've been in quarantine? Ooh, um, I have watched, what did I watch? I've been watching so much. Um, I, I finished up on you the second season. I love you. Yeah. Watch you. I do. Um, That's a good one. <laughs> I just finished watching. I binge watch P Valley. Have you watched P Valley? I've seen up to. I've seen half of the season, so maybe like the first five episodes. I haven't seen the last five yet. <laughs> I just seen someone put P Valley. Yes, my, <laughs> my friend. So my friend got me, and she's like, "Girl, we gotta watch this show. It's so ratchet, but it's so good." Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I really. Like, I was like, okay, and we sat there and watched the whole first season. Mm-hmm. Like, this is so good. Um, yeah. What else have I watched? Um, I've been watching some throwbacks that Netflix has had on, like um, Girlfriends. I know mm-hmm. we, me and my cousin are watching Moesha. Um, yeah, I'm watching Sister, like, Sister right now. <laughs> Sister, Sister is one to have yeah. up there, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I think after Sister, Sister, then I'm going to try to watch Girlfriends. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Catch up mm-hmm. on both. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I've just been bouncing all around. Um, yeah. And quarantine has been way longer than I thought it was going to be. So I probably yeah. watched something like four months ago or five months ago. Um, right, exactly. Right now. Um, yeah, I literally was like two weeks to like six months. I was like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. What's going on? But yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have some of the sweetest fans and I asked them to send me questions. So they sent me a bunch of questions that they want me to ask you. Okay. Uh, So before I let you go, I'm just going to pick some of the, some of the good ones out. They were all good, but I'm just going to pick out some of the fun ones. Yeah. Uh, So somebody wanted to know what are some successful steps to become an actress? Oh, um, I think, Hmm. Okay. Well, Definitely, I would say take classes if you can. If you can't, because I wasn't always able to take classes either. Yeah. Um, a good thing to do. Well, thank God we have YouTube now and like mm-hmm. like Amazon to deliver us books and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would definitely 
get like some acting theory books um there's so many um there's one by Ma michael woodrow that i really really love um and and i would say study study the art of it um and also you know like practice monologues like find a monologue that's good for you that you think would fit you mm -hmm. and like really practice it and that's something that i did just starting out um, and if you can get into classes, classes are really good um, because they break your shell a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, I know I was starting off with kind of like just me and the teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and I kind of got into classes and I liked it because it gave me that being around my peers vibe. And, and I think that really worked for me is breaking that barrier and really being able to um, perform on cue. So yeah. I think that's a really big one is obviously practicing your craft. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I would say is get out and, and see who you know, who knows who. A big thing of the business is, mm -hmm. is, is who knows who, right? It's yeah. who, about who you know. Um, so I would just say do some networking if you can safely um, and with legitimate things because there's always something that portrays Hollywood right um, so be careful <laughs> mm -hmm. about what you're going to but definitely if you're old enough network and see if you know this person oh it's like six degrees of separation so someone always knows someone and it's always good to start um, wherever you can so practice your craft network and um, just stay committed perfect that's such good advice so whoever uh, asked that question got some re you just got some really good advice right now so i hope you took notes on everything she just said <laughs> yes um somebody asked what is the your favorite place that you've traveled to um i love water so one of my favorite places i've traveled to has to be Trinidad. Oh, I haven't I, been, but that sounds so nice right now. <laughs> Both of them were so amazing. Mm -hmm. Very similar, but different. Yeah. Um, but lo I mean, the beaches, the water, the people, the food, mm -hmm. the street food, the culture. Yeah. Um, everything. Amazing. That's uh, that sounds like a dream. Yeah. Perfect. Um, someone else asked, well, I know, okay. <laughs> Somebody asked what your skincare routine is, but I do know that you have a YouTube channel and you did show your nighttime routine. So mm -hmm. that was like a little plug. So maybe there's some skincare in there. If you go check out her YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Check out my YouTube channel. And, um, I definitely have some things on my IGTV as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, what's crazy is I was just about to film an updated skin routine. So be on the lookout for that. Perfect. I have changed a little bit. The weather is starting to change. And mm -hmm. so does the products for me. So um, I am definitely filming that this week. So be on the lookout for the new skincare routine. Yes. Make sure you guys subscribe to her channel. Yes. Um, and someone asked, what is the truest thing about your zodiac sign? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. No, um, <laughs> what is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Okay. What are you? I'm an Aries. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say oof, the truest thing about my Gemini, oh, my Gemini sign. I would <laughs> say um, just being okay. So being flip floppy, meaning people think it's like. <laughs> you turn into like two different people like you're right like, you know like you have a mental like no it's not mm -hmm. like that it's not yeah. people take it so crazy yeah mm -hmm. it's just it's basically like we're just very like internal and like we think a lot that's a thing and i feel like everyone thinks a lot mm -hmm. but we probably show it more outwardly so mm. a thought comes and then we're like you're like, what's wrong? What happened? What what's going on? And yeah. Like nothing. It's down. And then it, it, it fluctuates like that. So I think that would be probably one of the truest, truest things about my sign that I can relate to. And ghosting people who I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was a Gemini trait. That's really funny. I feel like it should be an everyone trait. Right. I, I yeah. don't know. I just read that a lot about Gemini's. I don't know if it's like 
that's seriously true, but it's definitely a stereotype. I feel like Gemini, like all the Geminis I know are like the life of the party. Would people, would people say that about you? Like, I feel I like so. I think so. I think, yeah, Geminis, we definitely do like to have fun. And I like everyone around me to have fun. as well. Yeah. Every Gemini I know is like, let's, it's time to turn up. Like, <laughs> we're <Hi>. turning up. <laughs> And for our last question, it is a sweet question. Somebody said, what is your favorite thing about Jacob? Aww. Um, <laughs> Aww. <laughs> cue, the, cue the awes in the comments. I know. Um, who my favorite thing? I would say my favorite thing, his selflessness. Mm. He's just not selfish at all. Like at all and yeah. it's not like you know it's it's just a natural thing I think it's just who he is and I think that is such an amazing you know quality and trait to have especially as a man because okay I like so okay <laughs> for sure they're all I mean I feel like we all are selfish in a way yeah definitely um, and then that's healthy but but definitely I would say selflessness that's so nice. So nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sheree. It was so good talking to you today. Talking to you today. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, tell everybody where they can find you at and how they can keep updated on everything that you're doing. Okay. Um, so pretty much it's Sareya across the board um, at Sareya, S-E-R-A-Y-A-H. Um, my Snapchat is Sareya Love and my website is www.sareya.love. Yes, it. come on website and make sure you guys <laughs> subscribe to her YouTube channel and be on the lookout for that single with Rick Ross coming out super soon. Yes. I can't wait. Thank super you so excited. much. Yes, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Where is the buzz? Where is the buzz you said was mine?